Barrel aging cocktails is one of the hottest trends right now in bars around the country and around the world. Essentially, you're taking the ingredients of a cocktail, placing them in an oak barrel, just like a wine barrel or a whiskey barrel, setting them somewhere to age for two months, maybe three months at the most, and at the end what you get is a very different drink than what you put in. Now there's an easy way to do this at home, even if your home is a very small space. Thanks to the folks at BespokePost.com, you can get a box of awesome that is a barrel aging cocktail kit. Essentially what it includes, a small 375 milliliter bottle, beautiful cocktail glasses from Simply, they're hand-blown Italian cocktail glasses, a funnel, and a cheesecloth, we'll explain all of those later. And most importantly, inside this little jar, you get a charred piece of oak. It's a patented honeycomb design, and what it does is replicate what happens inside a barrel while it's aging. When you're deciding what to age, it's best to start out with what we call spirit-forward cocktails. Those are cocktails that are predominantly or exclusively hard liquor, liqueurs, and fortified wines like vermouth. So things like the Negroni, the Manhattan, the Rusty Nail, those all work really, really well for barrel aging. What you don't want to put in here, as a rule, are fresh citrus, eggs, like if you're making a Ramos Gin Fizz, sour mix, dairy, like an Irish cream. And the reason is those can spoil and they can curdle. And that will affect not only your cocktail, obviously, but also your oak stave. This is the Dreschel. It's a World War I era cocktail. I've already mixed it up a little bit, but a couple of things about this. One, it's easier to mix in advance. Rather than trying to pour it in here and get everything to work, it keeps your proportions good, it keeps your, your measurements good, and you'll have a little bit of leftover sometimes to celebrate. And essentially, we're looking at about 10 one-ounce shots, 10 ounces in here that are gonna fill it up, so you want your recipe to reflect that. So in this case, We've got about four ounces of rye whiskey. We've got about four and a half ounces of Dubonnet, which is a fortified wine. We've got about a half ounce of Cointreau or other orange liqueurs and triple secs. And then about a half ounce, a quarter ounce of Peychaud's. Stir it up a little bit, grab your funnel, and try not to spill. And there you have it. Throw it in the closet, come back in two weeks, you've got a different cocktail. One thing you want to do on a regular basis is taste it. You want to taste because the, the nature of the cocktail can change dramatically. What could be woody and tannic and bitter on one day, two days later you come back and it's round and floral and spicy. The other thing you can do, if it doesn't seem quite balanced, is throw in a little more booze or a little more, you know, of the liqueur or whatever. It's your cocktail. Make it how you like it. So when you're ready to pour, it's helpful to decant the barrel or the jar through a little cheesecloth or a little filter because during the aging process, even with these small staves, you get some charcoal, you get some wood sediment, and it'll just make the whole thing taste a whole lot better if it doesn't have the stave in there. And there you have it barrel-aged cocktails.